when uh, Lord North heard about the Battle of Yorktown, he said, oh God, it's all over. Uh, North uh, realized immediately that that would be the end of the uh, war. Uh, he was apparently uh, told by ministers at number 10 Downing Street. He paced up and down, he beat his breast and said, God, it's all over. North could probably have stayed in power if he'd been able to give an unequivocal promise to the House of Commons that Britain would withdraw from America. But the King was still adamant that they should continue, and so was Lord George Germain in his cabinet. And so North went on for a few more months, but by March of 1782, uh, the independent members of the House of Commons were voting in larger and larger numbers against him. Even the military, and many members of the military sat in the House of Commons in this period, even most of the military who sat in the House of Commons significantly were voting against uh, Lord North. And so essentially, uh, in early March of 1782, rather than face another defeat, he simply resigned. George III accused him of personal betrayal, and Lord North wrote back a letter which really remains an important part of the uh, unwritten constitution of Britain, in which he said there does come a point uh, where a monarch must abide by the majority decision of the uh, House of Commons. And with that, Lord North fell from power. Uh, at the time that he fell from power, he was indeed being depicted as the Prime Minister who had lost America in all of the uh, cartoons. Uh, he was always, it was always easy to identify him in a cartoon because he was always depicted with a blue ribbon because often uh, he was still in court dress when he went into the House of Commons having just met with George III. This particular um, satire uh, is one that shows uh, fish scattered on the floor and they each represent the colonies and behind is a map of uh, America and the king is asking uh, how, how these have been lost um, and North is replying, it's no problem, uh, myself and uh, Minden, uh, which was a reference to Lord George Germain, can easily fry them and cook them up. But ironically, his government had laid the foundations for future victories in the war, which was not over until almost uh, two years later. Uh, the British won a major victory at sea, known as the Battle of the Saints, in which they defeated the French Navy, and they withstood successfully the longest siege in British military history, the Siege of um, Gibraltar. North lived until 1792. During the weeks that he died uh, and he was ill for a long period, his daughter would read to him in French from the newspapers uh, from Paris, uh, giving the details of the French Revolution. Uh, he had always been uh, someone who liked the status quo, and uh, he said to his daughters he was glad not to be living into a new era of uh, revolutionary uh, period. Uh, he was living at the time that he died, just opposite the new ambassador from the United States of America, John Adams. And Abigail Adams wrote back and said, said we're still uh, near Lord North, but we're still on the opposite side because they were on opposite side of the road. Uh, towards the end of his life, he ran into his old political nemesis, um, Isaac Barry. It was Barry who'd coined the phrase Sons of Liberty to describe the opponents in America of the Stamp Act. Both of them had gone blind. North went blind soon after 
he stepped out of office. When he went into the House of Commons, he had to be led to his uh, chair. And uh, North had not lost any of his humour. He held Barry's hand and said, uh, because Barry had gone blind as well, and he said, although we were always contenders in life and opponents, I'm sure there are not two men who would more like to see one another at this time.